TVOS 26 is officially released and we have it installed on our Apple TV. So in this video, let's go ahead and go through all the newly added features as well as changes that Apple integrated and improvements that Apple released with this new firmware update. So of course, timestamps of everything will be in the description down below for your pleasure. So the compatible devices are right there, but it seems like there was no change from the previous TVOS, which is quite nice. So let's quickly start off with number one, and that is the new lock page. As now you have the ability to actually select between the different profiles that are connected to the Apple TV. And if you like to add an extra person, you can always just tap plus, it requires you to have like an Apple device nearby, like your iPhone, and you'll be able to wirelessly sync all your devices between one Apple device to the other. It's like setting up custom profiles in a vehicle. It's kind of like that, it's kind of cool. But you can just select and sign in, and this is how the new design looks like. Notice how we do have a liquid glass bar. Now, to my understanding, this is only compatible on Apple TVs that support 4K. So if you don't see this like liquid glass bar on the bottom over here, you'll probably have the traditional gray one that we are that we previously were exposed to. But if you go into your settings and you go down to profile and accounts, some of the settings and some of these preferences, you see by selecting one of your profiles, you can enable photos as well as enabled one home screen by having this enabled if you have other apple devices that you're signed into as soon as you rearrange an app it will synchronize on the account you're signed into this will also include purchases as well as free downloads you've done in the past and you can also enable siri voice recognition when you're activating siri to do certain things on your behalf like send a message as an example so setting up those profiles really do help out a lot especially when uh, it keeps you signed in on all your other subscriptions you have but if it's just you and you like to disable it, you can always uh, turn off shoes profile on awake. Pretty cool. But let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. You see on the control center, continues featuring the liquid glass design. This is a horrible background drop. So let me go ahead and change it so you can actually see how transparent the liquid glass is. There we go. This is a better preview on how that looks like. The Wi-Fi icon has also been redesigned as well. But everything else remains very similar to like the previous tvOS software we had in the past on tvOS 18. And you do have the ability to quickly hop and switch between different profiles from here as well. Now a new app that was added on some Apple TV devices is the karaoke app. You see by simply clicking on here, it will quickly take you to the Sing Karaoke. Which all it is, if you look on top where it says Home and New and Sing, it just takes us to the Apple Music because if we go ahead and enter app switcher, it's just taking us to the music app. Just we have a quick shortcut from the home menu to quickly activate to do karaoke nights. So if we go into the Sing app, you can browse between some of the songs you've been listening to. And the only requirement here is that the user needs to be subscribed to Apple Music. And that's basically it. But you'll see there's a lot of support for some amazing artists out there, as well as some indie artists too, you'll be able to discover. It's also compatible on here. But once you find something you like, I'm just gonna select pop. That's just an example where it says connect to iPhone mic. This is where you could take your actual iPhone. Just go ahead and take your phone and scan that QR code. And then it'll say you are connected to sing and you can hit audio check or start singing. And then simply just tap play. And the QR code still continues to exist. So if other people like to join this karaoke duo, they can. And from here, you have the emoji reactions, which will pop up on the screen on who's reacting with what. You also can continue to add songs from your own personal library to the karaoke. So you can add songs to the queue. It's pretty fun. You could enable or disable the microphone from here as well. And then when you want to end, drop the mic and boom, just like that, successfully disconnected. So that's the new sing karaoke feature found on the Apple TV. And real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, why not hit that like button and like? Those really do help out the channel and allow this channel to be continuing to be powered by you guys, the viewers, not third-party brands requesting for like a sponsorship segment and stuff like that. So, so massive thank you for me to those that took the time and hit that like button and like. Really does mean a lot. Let's carry on. Another app that received an update is the Apple TV app. You see by launching the Apple TV app, it also got a minor update in terms of its theme. You see if you scroll down, You'll notice that the thumbnails for some of these TV shows as well as movies feature a poster movie thumbnail. As they're all like shaped like this, except for sports. But this is the new look for the Apple TV. Just has new updated thumbnails, which feature the iconic poster design. And then while viewing content, if you bring up this section up the bar, 
you'll notice that it follows the liquid glass design even on these like chapters and stuff like that underneath. So it really does continue throughout the entire UI now. Third party apps will also be updated to this as well. Now when it comes to wallpapers, unfortunately we didn't really receive much as we still continue having the previously added Snoopy screensavers, maybe some new updates of new animation cutscenes. But a thing I have noticed, whenever Snoopy is playing or a, or a screensaver is playing in general, if you tap the center portion of your controller, the time will actually appear. So a little feature right there that I just now noticed. Let me know in the comments if this was already an existing feature, but to me, I think this is new. I could just appear by simply tapping on it. It's kind of cool. But again, no new themes or screensavers was added because if we go into the screensaver section right in here, if you look closely, we have all the same traditional ones that was recently added from the previous TVOS. But if you do go into aerials, now you have the ability to actually choose between what aerial themes you like to see as it will actually show you a preview right here. And you can decide if you like to hide one or keep one. Now, for some reason, it's not loading on my screen. Uh, I think my Apple TV is bugged. I have three Apple TVs in my household and they're all doing this. But traditionally, it was supposed to give me a preview on how each theme looks like and I can select which one I like it to show and which one I don't like it to show. Before this was random, we never had the ability to actually filter out some of these. Now we finally do have that ability. Additionally, when it comes to audio sources, you can now set a default AirPlay audio source. So if you have like a Sono sound system as an example, and you like to set those as a default, you can now do that. Where previously we did have the ability to do this in the past, just however, whenever you turn off the Apple TV, it'll automatically switch back to the HDMI audio output. Now it no longer is the case. You see, if we go into video and audio, and you scroll down to audio output. Right here, you have the ability to select AirPlay now. You can select what kind of speakers you like to be the dedicated one. So for my demonstration purpose, I'm going to select the surround sound system we have in the living room. And I'm going to uncheck the TV. And now that audio source, default audio source, each and every time when you turn on the Apple TV. So pretty cool that we have that ability now. I'm going to reverse back to that, but you can select more than just one. And when you reset the Apple TV, it'll stay that way where you last left it. Now in terms of audio pass through, it is confirmed that the TVOS 26 will support it, but developers need to enable this on their end on those third party apps. As time I get this video, they're not enabled yet, but something tells me somewhere down the fall time or maybe the beginning of next year, it's when we're going to start finally seeing pass through support on third party apps. It's just, however, it is unclear exactly what kind of format will it support, like lossless audio or true HD. We still don't know yet. And if you're somebody who uses FaceTime call to call their family members and stuff like that, FaceTime calls will now finally support live translations. So if you're speaking to a relative with a foreign language, it will automatically translate for them automatically. This is very similar technology. I'm assuming that Apple is using on their AirPods. The Apple TV is able to support this. Then in terms of the Apple TV remote, Still is exactly the same, just this is how it looks like with the new liquid glass design and control center. You can still launch it from here and go ahead and select the Apple TV that you like to connect to. And you still have the ability to use the find my remote functionality. Still looks the same, but this is how the new layout looks like with that liquid glass design, I guess. But it's really hard to tell with a black background. But other than that, there you guys have it. Now you are up to date on all the new features that got recently added on TVOS 26. Anyways, if you'd like to watch more, maybe you'd like to see an in-depth tour of all the new changes and features that got added on watchOS 26, I covered it all in greater detail over there. Thank you so much for watching.